You want shirts? I got shirts. Only it's only game. Why you have to be mad? What is up, Heroes of Dominion? My name is Charlie, this is Hero War Central, and in today's video, we're gonna talk about Maya, the mage, the healer, the mealer, the page. Uh, so she was a, 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 a event hero on mobile last week, and I got a lot of requests. I wasn't gonna do this video um, because there's just so many hero events in the month of May, but I've got so many requests for this tier video that I thought, you know, I'd just go ahead and pop it in here on a Friday afternoon, Friday evening, see what you guys think. So uh, like we always do, we're going to talk a little bit about the maxed out stat page on mobile so you can verify and compare and see where you're at with your healer, your Maya, your mage, whatever. And then we're going to talk about the five tiers that we have. We have teams, I'm sorry, we have Water Bottle Tier, which are heroes that you would build a team around, and also you could sub into any team. We have Milk Crate Tier, which are utility heroes that are not strong enough on their own to build a team around, but you would sub them in against certain teams. We have Stop Sign Tier, which are strong enough to build a team around, but aren't quite utility enough to sub into every team against certain teams. We have Dead Battery Tier, and these are heroes that I would not recommend to new players, either because they are currently bugged, they're too weak, or they're just it's just too expensive to build for, uh, for a new player. And then finally, you have the PvE Hero Tier, and that is great in a campaign, the Tower or Outland, but not anywhere else. So that out of the way, let's talk about Maya a little bit. She is a midline healer slash mage. She has um, some healing and some damage. Uh, if you treat her right, she'll do, you know, she'll do what you need to do um, based on, you know, what, you know, what you need her for kind of, but I'll touch on that in a little bit. Four abilities, gray ultimate ability, a magical flower grows around Maya, protecting her from any attacks. Unless it is destroyed, the flower will restore health of all teammates over time. So this is why this queen of flowers ability is why so many players love using her as a healer. She's in the middle. So this magical flower that restores health of nearby teammates over time, unless you have you know, a lot of air of effect damage, which a lot of teams do right now, or unless you have some strange hero that targets middle line heroes, it's really hard to knock down the uh, the protecting flower bulb thing that she's got. So she often pumps out quite a bit of healing. So yeah, not a, not a bad little healing spell. Um, very similar to Nebula in positioning requirements. Okay. Next ability, Poison Pollen. This is her green ability. Maya hits the furthest enemy with Poison Pollen, pollen that causes damage over time. This is a pure damage. That is, it completely avoids magic defense and uh, armor. And this skill is modified by magic attack, 25% plus a little bit of a modifier. This is actually a pretty strong anti-boss skill. So keep that in mind if you're trying to defeat a boss and you're you know, trying you're you're coming up short on a little damage. Maybe Maya is your um, is your go-to. Uh, she's she's good in that regard, similar to Celeste. All right, Celeste provides a little bit of healing and a little bit of damage. Next, her blue ability, uh, poisonous bonds. Living sprouts entangle enemies on the far left and the far right, pulling them to each other and poisoning them. This is also a damage over time. This is also pure damage, also modified by magic attack. Right, so she's doing a lot of magical damage. I'm sorry, magic based. Pure damage attacks, okay? Only one healing so far. And it's this, this is probably her most interesting ability, in my opinion. The Queen of Flowers uh, shield slash heal thing that she does is good, and it's definitely effective. But I think this is the most interesting ability. And finally, we have um, the Violet ability, which for whatever reason is covered up here. <laughs> I'll put the name on screen. Uh, the Violet ability says, now when the magical flower dies, its root entangle the nearest enemies, that is the front line of the opponents, preventing them from moving and causing damage over time for eight seconds. So you have the Poisonous Bonds ability that will drag the, the frontmost and the rearmost enemies together, right? And then you have this Violet ability that will uh, do... Um, a damage over time effect. This one is magic. It's not pure uh, and, and lock them in place for eight seconds. So this becomes beneficial and this is almost enough. This is almost enough for her utility to be good enough. 
And I'll touch on that in just a second. So <clears throat> let's talk about the skins next uh, before we go into Glyph's artifacts and then where I rank her overall. She's got uh, Quattro skins. That is um, one more than three and one less than five. She has the most skins that you can get in this game. Um, her default skin is Intelligence. Uh, her second skin is the Champion skin. That's Magic Attack. Uh, she also has a romantic skin, which is health. I'm sorry, her winter skin is magic attack. And then finally, her romantic skin is health. So in the order of how I would level them up, I would level up magic attack skins first, then intelligence, and then health. Okay, that is how I would level them up. Glyphs, we've got magic attack, intelligence, health, armor, and magic defense. Okay, pretty, uh, pretty good, pretty okay default set of glyphs. Um, magic attack first, intelligence, health, and then finally armor and, def and magic defense last. That's the order that I would that I would level these up. And this is where I'm going to stop real quick, and I want to just kind of think about objectively that this is a mage that does damage, but her glyphs and her skins are more akin to a healer. And I think that's why a lot of people get her confused with healers, uh, like uh, Martha and Thea and Dorian, she doesn't have penetration stats on her uh, on her glyphs or her skins like mages do. So, well, like some mages, I should say. Uh, so it's it's easy to say, oh, she's a healer. She's a support. She's a healer. But, you know, she does a ton of damage as well. A ton of damage. Speaking of artifacts, again, no magic penetration. Her artifact weapon is Mother's Tree Branch. Mother Tree's Branch, excuse me, uh, boosts the magic defense of your whole team. Her tomb is Arcane Knowledge. That is magic attack and health. And finally, her ring is Intelligence. I would level the book, then the ring, and then finally the artifact weapon last. So effective against magic teams right so where does she fit in my tier list now remember this is a tier list that's designed to show to new players to be like hey new player this is you know you ask me about maya this is what i feel about maya or this is what charlie from hero war central has said about maya so um a couple of real quick i, I don't think she's dead she's dead battery she's she's strong enough on her own that i wouldn't uh, you know write her off completely so we can knock that one out she is effective in some teams, so we're not going to put her in the PvE or um, uh, Campaign Tower Outland tier. So the big question is, is do you build a team around her? Do you have to build a team around her? Or do you use her in places where her utility is beneficial? So this is a tough hero. This is kind of a tough hero because... Let me, let me tell you why. Looking at her skills, she has some interesting lockdown, like quote-unquote lockdown skills. Her, her ability to prevent the enemy from moving will have pretty strong negative effects towards heroes like Luther, like um, Ziri, preventing them from doing you know their ultimate ability. And that would suggest, hey, you could sub Maya in against a strong Luther or a strong Ziri, and she would do well. But in practice, at least for me on max testing on Facebook and to the majority of people that I've talked to, that utility is just not enough. And I think that you have to build, I think that she's a unique hero that has a unique skill set. I mean, they all do. They're all unique heroes, of course. But I think that she's, she's a niche hero that you have to build a team around. Okay, so because of that, I'm placing her in the stop sign tier. So you would need to build a team around this hero and she doesn't bring utility to every team. You wouldn't sub Maya in to every. You wouldn't. You wouldn't plug her in into your Kira team as an answer to Luther. You wouldn't plug her into your Twins team as an answer to Ziri. You just wouldn't do it. I. I don't. I see the utility. I just don't think it's good enough. It's kind of like Marcus in that regard. It's. It's got some strong healing. Uh, good utility there, but is it enough? No. <laughs> no, it's not. But that's another video. That's another video. So. Let me know what you guys think about Maya. I, for the longest time, I didn't invest anything into Maya until, you know, until I start, until I got around to getting her from whatever vendor that she's available for. And now I've got her uh, pretty well stocked up on mobile with this past event. But, you know, the best team, the absolute best team that I've seen with, uh, with Maya is, you know, on, on t uh, Tim's spreadsheet. And that is the, it's a Satori team. It's Astaroth, Satori, Maya, Jorgen, Thea. And the whole point of it is that, you know, to, to make Satori the only damage dealer so he has maximum damage output. That's what the that's what the little annotation says. And enough heals and support to keep him going. 
but there are better Satori teams, in my opinion. In my opinion, there are better Satori teams. So, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Please put down in the comments down below if you've got a strong Maya team that I should check out. I played around a ton with Maya. I was thinking about doing a Team Fight Tuesday uh, with Maya this past week, but I did not find a team that I really enjoyed using her with. She is one of the few heroes that I, I just don't find aesthetically interesting. Her... Uh, her her artwork is fantastic. I, I love I love her artwork, and um, I've got some great fan artists putting out some artwork for me uh, at the end of this month as well. But she's just not a she's just not one of my favorite heroes. But let me know what you guys think uh, because there's many ways to play this game, and I'm just one guy with one opinion. <laughs> all right. Well, uh, I love you all. Good luck in Dominion.